National Council of Educational Research and Training presents audiobook Honey Suckle textbook in English for class 6 Page 1 Notes for the teacher general 1 Learning a language means using it for a wide variety of purposes language is best acquired when attention is focused on meaning not on form 2 words and phrases not closely related to objects and action remain empty and lifeless to young learners language comes alive when presented in meaning making contexts 3 words phrases that are used to accomplish many useful purposes follow a certain system inherent in the language itself four learners become familiar with the system through continuous exposure to the language in meaning focused situations five interaction discussion and sharing of ideas among learners provide opportunities that elicit real information about them and their experiences and opinions 6 encourage learners to work in pairs and small groups and let them go beyond the textbook by providing a variety of language inputs for spontaneous and natural use of language 7 build on the exercises given in the textbook and design more tasks activities in keeping with learners interests needs and surroundings employ free response exercises with more than one possible response 8 promote reading habits through story reading not merely teaching stories as texts story retelling choral reading shared reading etc 9 create class libraries for exchange of books and shared reading the library may also move with children to the next higher class 10 poems need not be taught line by line word by word you may give a model reading but let every child read the poem on her his own to feel the richness of language rhythm and music of words exercises accompanying the poem are more for understanding the poem as a whole than for teaching language items page 2 11 encourage learners to tell new stories narrate anecdotes compose short poems in english or their own language talk about pictures illustrations in the book and cartoons in newspapers magazines don't get anxious about the errors they will make constant exposure practice and correction in the form of feedback will help them improve themselves by and by 12 every page has a column for words and meanings encourage children to write down other words they find difficult along with their meanings in this column units 1 to 3 1 who did patrick's homework 1 magical realism there is no magic here only make believe it's patrick's own inspiration personified he does his homework himself self help is the best help 2 children will be keenly interested to talk about homework and whether they like or don't like it discussion may take place in small groups before the entire class is engaged in arriving at a set of common points teacher to monitor and moderate the discussion 3 discussion about homework may be enlivened by taking a close look at the cartoon under speaking 4 
comprehension questions to be taken up orally before well formulated answers are put down on paper 5 crossword puzzle to be attempted by learners independently provide additional clues if necessary a house a home draw children's attention to the following 1 there is no place like home 2 charity begins at home page 3 3 the difference between home and house may be exemplified by using house or home appropriately to fill the blanks 1 he lives in a rented blank 2 rana worked in singapore for 5 years then he returned blank Three blank is where the heart is. Four, the red blank in front of us belongs to Mr. Lal. Two, how the dog found himself a new master. One, folk tale. Folk tales are popular stories. passed on generally in spoken form from one generation to the next to tell the story before asking children to read the text three divide it into three or four parts each part ending where the listener wonders what comes next four word search clues to be explained at length before it is attempted all hidden words are adjectives another word search for nouns or verbs can easily be prepared in class 5 under working with language items b and c will lend themselves to formation of connected sentences There was once a peasant who owned a flock of sheep. He loved his sheep like members of the family. B. What would you prefer, a bunch of flowers or a story book? Remember, tomorrow is your birthday. C. Cruelty to animals is a sin. Stop it by all means. D. kindness doesn't cost anything why are people not kind to one another 6 the dog family activity will need time and patience complete the family tree of dogs yourself before taking it up in class pronounce coyote like coy rhymes with boy oat rhymes with boat with i at the end sound as in c page 4 the kite one let children cull out pairs of rhyming words additionally they may also pick up other words like kite breeze dive etc and form new pairs to ask children to look for words that are associated with a bird tail for example 3 words of action can be emphasized by lingering a little on dive dip soars climbs and flaps 4 after a few readings children will become familiar with words and phrases ask for volunteers to recite the poem with appropriate gestures 5 kite making is a productive activity ensure its performance by involving groups of children and helping them put the materials into shape invite the art craft teacher to join in words and action to go together in the activity Taro's reward. 1. Asian values, a hint of magic. 2. 
while telling the story draw children's attention to situations in which they can see themselves elicit their comments on and reactions to hard work sincerity care and respect for the elderly especially one's parents for let learners read and reread relevant portions to the text to answer comprehension questions 5 in working with language give them enough time and let them work together discuss and arrive at appropriate responses to the items 6 there is a tongue twister in the speaking activity this is sure to interest every child you may find more tongue twisters or ask children to collect more including some in their own language they may be taken up as a group project page 5 here is one tongue twister for you she sells seashells on the seashore the shells she sells are seashells i'm sure for if she sells seashells on the seashore then i'm sure she sells seashore shells the quarrel one discuss the points provided at the beginning of the poem two after reading and rereading of the text and completion of exercises try the following activity ask children to rearrange the lines given here write them on the blackboard first so that it reads like a poem the first line is the opening line i quarreled with my brother the only one i have no other i quarreled with my brother the only one i have no other was there a fight what was the quarrel about no he was actually right which one i don't remember but we fell out 3 draw their attention to the rhyming words in rearranging lines 4 can they redo the second stanza in the same way encourage them to 